every kingdom, empire, and monarch that rises ultimately falls, all except for one. This one eternal kingdom has an everlasting God that has revealed himself through a special seal that he's given to the world. But before this eternal kingdom comes, his followers will be stripped of all of their rights, forbidden to buy and sell, and eventually face execution, unless they receive another seal, a mark that gives homage to a different God, the Beast of Revelation. From our prior video, we learned that in the last days, there will be two significant seals or signs, and that every person will ultimately receive one of these two opposite marks. We also know that both of these marks are hidden. They represent our actions, our thoughts, and our worship. We need to uncover what they really are, because one is a mark of loyalty to God, and the other is a mark of loyalty to the beast. But before we can discover what the mark of the beast is, we must first understand what is the seal of God. Typically, a seal has the name identifying the authority, the title of that authority, and the territory the authority governs. For example, when Jesus was put in the tomb, the government seal was placed on the stone door at the entrance. It no doubt read Pontius Pilate, Governor, Judea. So does God have a seal? And if so, what is it? Seal the law among my disciples. So we can clearly see the sign or seal is connected with the law of God. So where do we find the seal in the law? It's in the Ten Commandments, hidden in plain sight within the Fourth Commandment. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Right here within the law of God, in the longest of the Ten Commandments, in the middle of His law, we find God's seal. The name of the authority, the Lord, the title of the authority, Creator, and His territory, the heavens and the earth. The scriptures also say the Sabbath is a sign. Moreover, I also gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between them and me, that they might know that I am the Lord who sanctifies them. This is the seal of God, friends to remember and to keep the Sabbath day holy, and to have the law of God written in our hearts. That's the seal. And wouldn't it make complete sense that the beast, Revelation, would create a counterfeit seal to compete with God's true seal? With this in mind, we're now better prepared to understand what the mark of the beast really is. Please join me in my next video as we unveil who is the beast of Revelation 13 and what is his mark, or visit 666truth.org